Hello, my name is Dr. Olive Brown. I'm a medical doctor, I'm a trainee pilot, and I'm the founder of West Africa's first indigenous air ambulance service, the Flying Doctors Nigeria. So I decided um, to start Flying Doctors Nigeria actually quite early on in medical school um, when my younger sister died because she couldn't get to hospital on time. That was when I really thought that I could make a real difference, not just by going into the NHS in England and practicing medicine, but perhaps trying to make some kind of difference where my sister actually died. Um, and that was the reason why um, I decided to start so a very long time ago, but the company actually started um, almost 10 years ago now, and we've been running um, for almost a decade. Um, but I started very early um, on in my career in business, um, and um, it's, it's been a great journey so far. My greatest challenges have actually been like the struggle to improve myself, um, the struggle to be a better leader, to be a better communicator, to be a better storyteller, um, to be a better manager, um, to be the best person that I could possibly be and reach my potential in the shortest possible time. I think those have been my greatest struggles and still are um, probably my greatest struggles because your organisation is always a reflection of you the way your staff behave is generally a reflection of the way you have behaved. So the better person I become, the better organisation I can run. So um, a lot of my effort is concentrated on me, how I use my time, how I communicate, um, how I learn, how I develop myself, um, and um, that's always a challenge. So overcoming that particular challenge of self-discipline and learn, lifelong learning is a lifelong journey. I mean, I think that when you stop learning, you stop living. But the ways that I've managed it is having a really good set of mentors, changing my set of mentors as I've evolved, because sometimes you outgrow your mentors, having really diverse people to speak to, always hanging around people that are smarter than me, um, continually reading, continually taking courses and encouraging all of my people to do the same thing. Um, and I think also um, measuring my time, measuring my activity, measuring my output has also helped me. My long-term dream is that nobody in Africa dies because they're at the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, the whole aim of an air ambulance is getting the right medical patient to the right medical facility within the right time frame. And I'd like that to be a reality for every person on the continent.